Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you all ha had a wonderful Christmas with your families. If you were able to get to your family, I know a lot of people were not able this year because of this horrid winter storm that's gone through the United States. Um, my prayers and thoughts are with you if you weren't able to get to your family. I was ready to get to my family, and then I found out that my cousin has COVID, and I was not going to take a chance of getting it because I do have certain underlying conditions that could make it pretty dangerous for me. So it was a real big disappointment, and um, I feel sorry for my cousin. I feel sorry for all the people who were in the home with him. I hope that everybody is okay. They were kind enough to call me today and I really didn't need that phone call. I mean, I did, but I didn't because I was so disappointed that I couldn't go and I just cried like a blubbering idiot, you know, and um, it's not, and it's not just because of today, you know, it's just because this year has been kind of tough uh, for me personally. And it's been tough on a lot of people all around the United States as far as the inflation and just not being able to make it financially. It's just been so hard on so many people. And for me personally, it's just been one thing after another. And I just, you know, I try to stay tough on the outside. You know, I come on here and I, you know, I can be obviously sad, but I never come on here and cry and, you know, like I'm feeling sorry for myself. But, you know, after 12 months of having pneumonia in January, losing my beloved Hyundai in March, I loved that car. Then I made the mistake of getting the Volvo, lost it last month, went to go see, see Keith. At least the car got me to see Keith. I'm very grateful for that. But then at the concert, I fell and I hurt myself and I'm going to have these scars for life. I mean, they're not horrible, but when you're you know, in a, a bright light, you can tell, um, you know, the indents that it made on my forehead. <laughs> Makeup can cover it for sure, but um, I'm still dealing with headaches from this big noggin that I had right here. And um that was in July, and then September I was planning to go to New York, and that didn't work out. And now this, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I I think anybody would eventually break down and just cry it out for a couple of hours like I did today, you know. Um, I am blessed in a lot of ways. I really am. I have a beautiful family. I have a beautiful home. Not everybody can say that. And I'm very well aware of that. Um, it's um, just, you know, just a couple of things along the road. There were bumps in the road this year. And um, I'm hoping that next year goes better. I'm hoping that this next trip that my friends and I are planning goes as smooth as possible because we all need a break. You know, I need a break. Um, um, so, um, got my fingers crossed that everything works out for that. I've never seen Louis Capaldi in concert and that's what we plan to do if everything works out. So I hope so. I hope so because I need it. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a crazy year. And so today I, I was kind of depressed today. So, you know, I was up at seven and, um, Went through the YouTubes, you know, just to see what was going on and Facebook and all that. And uh, I'm, I am moderator of Adam McIntyre's Facebook group called The Muckers, which I'm honored to be. My first time ever being a moderator and I'm um, having fun doing that. And uh, yeah, I feel honored to do that because I like Adam a lot. And his mother is so sweet and I just love them all. So um my family from Ireland. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyhow, I just wanted to come on and say hi and wishing you a Merry Christmas a little late. I mean, it's after Christmas, but it's okay. You know, I just, I, I just didn't feel up to it. 
it today at all. And um, so looking forward to next week. Um, most of my family is coming up. Hopefully, if everybody feels okay, hopefully nobody contracted the virus from my cousin. Um, it's sad because he's the matriarch of the family, you know, he's the dad, you know, and all the kids came over and the nieces and nephews and all that. And he had to stay up in his room because he's sick. So it was just, it was very hard on them too. You know, she told me, she said, there's been a lot of tears today. So, um, yeah, everybody have a great Monday and, um, I'm 65 now it's official. And oh boy, <laughs> hopefully many more years to come. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Everybody take care. I love you so much and talk to you later. Bye.